Hello girls, good morning. Okay, today we're going to look at this topic called defecation. Now this is the process whereby um, all the unwanted substances from the uh, digested uh, substances that has already been uh, broken down in our elementary canal, in the ileum specifically. So the certain substances which are not needed, they will actually come to the last part of the elementary canal, which is the large intestines or we call the colon okay so now after absorption defecation is the process that comes after absorption you will have uh, substances which are one unwanted which are not needed so they will not be absorbed into the villus of the small intestine so after small intestine okay so you will see here these are the small intestines and it's very long it's about um, almost about 20 feet so after this it passes on to the uh, this is the beginning part of the colon, so this is called the cecum, and at the base of the cecum, you will have a part which is juts, which juts out, this is called the appendix. So as you know, you have a lot of people having appendicitis, and that would be inflammation of the appendix, that means uh, some infection has occurred in the appendix, and the doctor will have to remove it. Because if you do not remove it, the bacteria will grow and it's going to be toxic and the person can eventually die okay, from infection of the bacteria. So this is the beginning part which is called the cecum. So in humans, it is, uh, doesn't serve much purpose, but in herbivores, it is very important. Okay, So now, the substances that come over here, you will have the undigested food okay, or the nutrients which are not needed, substances which are not needed. You have dead cells. Dead uh, cells come from the... Uh, wall of the intestine, the small intestines all along the way. So dead cells will be shut off from the wall and epithelial cells as well from the wall of the intestines. You will have fiber, fiber that are composing a lot of uh, cellulose material which is in mostly uh, in the vegetables that we eat and also in fruits. And also of course large part of it is water. Okay, so it will enter the large intestines, it will pass through the cecum in the beginning and it moves slowly through the three parts of this colon. So the one that moves up uh, is uh, like going up, this is the ascending colon. Then the one that is like horizontal is called the transverse colon and the one that comes down here is the uh, descending colon. So all along the way, okay, the food here, or rather we don't call it the food, we call it considered the waste product. Uh, this substance will be pushed along by the contractions of the smooth muscles in the colon. So that contraction, the, the rhythmic contractions of the muscles which push the substance along, this is called peristalsis. Okay, peristalsis. Okay, this is the process which uh, the rhythmic contraction of the smooth muscles and circular muscles in the large intestines. Right, then... This substance all, uh, will be carrying, uh, this substance uh, carries, the, the large intestines carries two main functions. Number one is absorption. So a lot of water is actually absorbed as the substance is moved along this uh, colon. And also vitamins, vitamins as well. And at the end of it, all this substance, because there is less water, so it becomes more and more solid as it moves along the uh, element, uh, along the colon so here in the beginning it's quite watery it's still a lot of water but as it's moving along it's being moved along more and more water will be taken back and absorbed through the blood capillaries so we have a lot of blood capillaries along the wall of the colon okay so you have a lot of water being absorbed back and at the end of it you will find that a lot of this has become hardened and becomes what we call feces and it will collect at the rectum until it becomes engorged and you feel the urge to actually release it that's why you feel the urge to go to the toilet and remove and uh, relieve your the the feces okay so these are the two parts okay now let's look at what are the substances which are absorbed okay water and mineral salts and also metabolic byproducts of bacteria we have a lot of bacteria good bacteria as well okay good and also of course a minor portion of it will be other bacteria uh, which produces uh, good substances for us, which is vitamin B, vitamin K, and folic acid. Okay, next, um, about formation of feces. So as the water is absorbed, the waste becomes more and more solid. 
okay and the feces what i actually think that ha you have in the feces there will be dead cells dead cells from the inner layer of the intestines and also waste products such as bile okay bile that comes from the liver okay bile pigments bacteria and also toxic substances and on the walls of the large intestines mucus will be secreted to smoothen the movement of feces until it moves right down to the anus and the whole process uh, right, will take about 12 to 24 hours before the substance enters the rectum. Okay, and it will accumulate, the feces will accumulate in the rectum until you feel the pressure is too great to resist and you will feel the need to expel the feces from the body. And the process of expelling the feces is called defecation. So this is the actual uh, scientific word for it. Okay, don't say uh, the colloquial word of shitting and all that. Right? That is a uh, layman term. So we want to use the correct term, it's called defecation. Okay, now let's look at here, at the ending of this. Okay, sorry, now you will have actually muscles here. Okay, now this is called sphincter. We call it anal sphincter. This is important because it actually keeps your uh, feces inside without it being dripping out. Okay, so it's very important. If you have very loose anal fixed sphincter, you probably find it hard to control your bowels and you will feel the... Uh, more urgency to actually more frequent for you to to actually relieve the feces okay so that's it for today's lesson this is a very short lesson hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will send a worksheet for you to fill in later right. bye